gypsier. That's not why I blocked you. I blocked you because you were a disgusting, depraved human being. It was just last month that you were defending drawn photos of pornography, and that just irks me in the worst way humanly possible. Your only online friend left is Keffels, and she threw you under the bus because you were defending pornography. The reason you're failing at everything you're trying to do right now is because you're trying to appeal to the left, but you're such a vile, disgusting person that even they don't want to have anything to do with you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have hosted several shows over the years, but none as amazing as what you're about to see. <laughs> Guys, we have a breaking news bulletin. I have to deliver you the news, chat. It is time for Ultimate Tipster Review. <laughs> I have to take you through this. We haven't done a tipster update in quite a while. It's been about a month, which in tipster years, is, well, tipsters like dog years. Um, there's a lot of stuff really fast and then they die. So that's how, that's how tipster years work. Oh man. Guys, today has been one of the funniest days of my time on YouTube. It, it brings me back to the days of old where we would sit on after hours and talk and giggle for hours and just laugh at dumb fucks on the internet. Chat, are you aware? <laughs> are you aware right now that Tipster has been shadow banned? Woo! Spooky! Hold on, let's get some, uh... <laughs> let's get some, uh... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some uh, some of this stuff. Where do we go? Ooh, tipster has been shadow banned. Oh no! <laughs> the ghosts of content passed. <laughs> if you go to his channel right now, okay, and you search tipster. I swear to God, this is the most insane shit ever, all right? Look at this. Look at this. Like, <laughs> there's some guy named Omegon. Oh Omegon, oh all right? Then we got, we got Boogie2988. Then me with a half-ass literal PNG thumbnail. That's us right now, chat. Um, we have Chris the Narc, Briz, Chud Logic. Tommy C, where's where's Tipster? He's not even covering Tipster. This is this is not even Tipster. Up, oh, let's see. Up, oh, sensitive society. Um, uh, what else we got here? Chud Logic Noir. Oh, it's me again. Tom Dark. Omegon. What else do we got here? Bowblacks, Lyrix. Chris the Narc. Big Bungie? Um, we got For You page. We got some J Stock and some Glorb. Commentary Aids? Ruin Leon? Oh, we got some Glorb again. Um, we got Tipster. Oh, no, that's Tom Dark. My bad. Uh, we've got Sensitive Society. We've got Papa Gut. We've got Lyrix. We've got Bo Blacks. We've got Lanza, but that's, that's, that's the Vosh Files. Uh, there's some Bosch related videos here. Turkey Tom's video on Mama Max. Uh, Gamer from Mars comes up. Willie Max Show comes up. Uh, but if we look up... <laughs> Let's see if it's been deboosted, chat. If we look up Tipster Lolly... Um, there he is! <laughs> He's the first result! <laughs> Lolly, he comes right up.
<laughs> so we started covering the super bad shadow man. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, 98% chance his channel's just dead. Um, now, it is weird. I will admit. It is weird. Let me search by uh, channel. Tipster Lolly. Like, he doesn't even come up. In this whole list of channels. Wait, Fantastician comes up. Oh no. <laughs> so this part is weird. I'll point this out. That's the only thing that's playing in his favor right now. But uh, what is this? Tipster died on Lolly Hill by Saggy Joe. <laughs> Great. So this is the lore. Let me see. Let me pull up some. Let me pull up some tunes. We need some tunes. We need some tunes, chat. Uh, let's go with the Max Payne theme song, chat. The Max Payne theme song. I've had several people inform me. <laughs> Hold on, wait. No, I need to lower this. My stupid thing is covering the whole screen. The fuck? Why is it? Okay, there we go. I've had several people inform me of this in the past 24 hours. I checked and I confirmed that my channel is not showing up in the search. I've contacted Team YouTube for assistance. Dude. And this guy's slog. Hey, Tipster! I don't think your channel's Shadow Man! I think your channel's Shadow Man! It's not showing up! So. Ooh. And then we found out, and it's just so fucking funny, dude. People were giving me mixed reports that it was the first or the second one. But when you look up Tipster Lolly all day, it's. By the way, this video does not have the word lolly in it which means he manually put it in tags or youtube is just associating the name tipster with lollycon which is the funniest fucking scenario possible i i i'm in complete fucking shock and awe that this is even a, a fucking chance that that could be the case but uh, th again this is a video called my response to the drama addressing the drama okay i don't maybe it's in the description i don't know but like this is crazy Okay, um, so then we have, this is the coup de gras chat. This is the kind of shit that I was not, I, I have never ever seen somebody do something like this. I, dude, who self owns this fucking hard? So tipster, so tipster, big genius tipster. Okay, big genius, epic content creation, fucking genius tipster post this right here okay i just spoke to team youtube as i expected not much they can do rest in peace and he posts a full document of him getting his asshole ripped in like into shreds this fucking youtube employee just bends this guy over and fucks him in the ass this hazel person and he posts it for everyone to see this is like a best gore video. I need to read this to you because it is one of the most brutal things a fucking minimum wage slave has ever said to a YouTuber. And holy shit, my heart goes out to Hazel. This was strong of you to say. Okay. Hi, my name's Hazel. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. That's good to hear. I'm contacting you because my audience is informing me that as of yesterday, my channel no longer appears in search results. I checked with an alt account and confirmed that there's an issue. What would cause this and how can we fix it? They even tried filtered search to search for just channels and it's not showing up. Thank you for sharing your concern. I understand that you're concerned about your channel's search results. Yes, my channel just randomly stopped showing in search results. My audience has been informing me of this since yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that. Just to confirm, is this the channel link in question? YouTube link? Yes! Thanks for confirming. By any chance, can you share a screenshot of the search that you performed on your end? Sure! Thank you for the screenshot. Thank you for the screenshot. I know how important this is to you. No worries, let me check into this for you. Just to confirm, you're still connected with me. Yes! Thank you for confirming. To be better with this concern, I'll go ahead and check into the matter further on my end. 
Is it okay if I place this chat on hold for a few moments while I look into it? Sure! Thank you! Thanks. Please stay connected. Thanks! Thanks for patiently waiting. No worries! Allow me to share the details with you. Okay, thank you! Please know that like Google's search name, Search on YouTube strives to surface the most relevant results, according to keyword queries. Channel videos are ranked based on a variety of factors, including how well the title, description, video, or content matches the viewer's query. Beyond that, we look at which videos have driven the most engagement for a query. Search results are not a list of most viewed videos or channels for a given query. Also, YouTube search tries to show you the most relevant results. Results can include videos, channels, playlists, and live streams. You may not find your channel at the top for it. Your handle or channel name could be commonly used. You have, com you have a common channel name. Your channel name is new. Your channel name may not be appropriate for all audiences. You can learn more here. Additionally, here are some tips. See what words people use to find your channel in traffic sources. Uh, I actually know one tipster. I know one. I, I know a few words people use when they research you. I, I can give you some tips myself. Oh no. Uh, consider incorporating those those relevant search results, guys. Tipster needs to change his name to Tipster Lolly Lover Gaming, and I think he'll get all the search results. No one will be confused if he changes his name to to Tipster Accidentally Supported Lolly Far Too Many Times Gaming. I think his channel will come up every time they search for him. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's known for, chat. Is accidentally defending Lolly sixteen times. Oh God. So, all right, write robust descriptions up to one to two paragraphs long. Consider implementing YouTube's transcript uh, translation tools to reach an international audience. But this doesn't make sense. Why would my channel show up in search one day, but not the next day? Brainstorm new video ideas by looking at search results for popular, less competitive queries. Identify opportunities to serve an audience that's not already well served. Remember to check the trending tab for topics that appeal to you or might be specific to your niche. I understand where you're coming from. However, as per careful, this is working as intended. So my channel just disappears overnight and that's normal? I truly appreciate your persistence in seeking a different solution. We've carefully examined your case and offered the best resolution possible within our guidelines. That's okay! Thanks for the info! Appreciate it! Thank you for understanding. I understand that that might not, that might not be ideal, but it's the final decision that we can provide. Your valuable feedback can help us improve our services in the future. Please consider sharing your set, uh, sentiments through our feedback form. Aside from this, is there anything else I can help you with today? No. That was all. Thank you. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh boy. YouTube called him an irrelevant loser whose content is terrible. We just saw it. He literally just got blown out, chat. He just got completely blown out by someone who doesn't even know who he is because they looked at his account and it's fucking dead. It's dead as a doornail. Holy shit, dude. The, the, the I was, up, Jesus, I'm trying to look up Tipster to show you and I, his name's not going to show up in the search. Holy shit. All right. Oh, God. Imagine being someone who presents themselves like this. Dude, what world does Tipster have in his palms? The fucking anime lollicon utopia that he lives in? Like, what the fuck? What world is in tips in the palm of Tipster's hands? <laughs> like, who fucking commissions it? Like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Wait a minute. You need to... <laughs> the dude, he 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 holds the world of of accidentally discovering uh, Lollicon and defending it on Twitter. <laughs> Tipster's most recent content. <laughs> Look at this, dude! I'd quit. 
I quit. Look at this. Under a thousand. He couldn't break a thousand views in four days. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Wait, do my streams... Do my, Do you guys even know I have a third channel? Hold on. Do, do my streams beat that? They might not. In my in, in his defense, they might not. Um, I have a third channel. Let me see. Yeah, we're... Dude, dude, he's competing with my third channel for views. And you guys don't even know I have this one. I don't even put this one in the description. Look at this, dude. My slop. He's, he's, he's literally competing with my slop. <laughs> That's his main. There's a third channel? Yeah, by the way, guys, you can subscribe to Nicholas Diorio Archive. Any stream that I think sucks, and I don't think it really belongs on this channel, uh, I put it over here. And I'm going to start slowly bringing back the old VODs now that we're not in a flag war. Um, yeah, we have, like, the Blazing Eights live stream. Riveting content, I know. But what would you rather watch? The Blazing Eights live stream? Or... Denny Gloom owns Michael Knowles in insane debate. <laughs> like, I, I, Jesus Christ. Uh, we actually have word from Tipster. He responded to this, and I need, I need to talk about it. Now, before we get too underway, I need to point, I need to talk a bit more about the recent happenings of our boy Young Tip. Young Tip in the hood, okay? Young Tippy Top, all right? They put out a joint statement yesterday. Big Tip and the Keffel. Okay? Big Tip and the Keffel. That's the worst podcast ever. <laughs> Dude. Demi Gloom is some 1,000 follower Keffel simp. Oh, God. All right. Ready for this? Hold on. We, we need more music, chat. I can't read this with a straight face without having, like, super-duper serious music on in the background. There we go, chat. Now I, I'm in the mood now. Let's go. I think the drama side of content creation encourages harassment. An obsessive behavior that makes you a worse person. I fell into the trap of making drama content and engaging in the same behavior people may have used to hurt me. I deeply regret it, and I'm sorry to those I've hurt. Content brings out the worst in everyone. It made me a person that when I look back, I'm ashamed of. And I genuinely wish that I never got wrapped up in it. We all make mistakes, but all we can do is do better moving forward. When people make hit piece after hit piece on you, it feels cathartic to get down on their level and engage with people in the same way. But that means lowering yourself to their standards and hurting other people for AdSense revenue. It's disgusting, and I feel bad for it. Me too! Now this is even funnier, and I don't even think you realize why. Um, let's look at Tipster's channel. Let's look at Keffel's channel. Yeah, these are two active drama YouTubers. These guys are actively making drama content. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I find uh, young Alex Gekmo, was it Alex? Was it the Reaper himself who provided this uh, this testimony from the boy Tipster himself? Something's changed recently. Something's changed. Something interesting. If I can find it. Yes, young Alex with the steel chair. Tipster has updated the rules of his community. Oh. What could these new rules entail? Unbelievable. What could have changed? What's going on in the Tipster change logs? How do the mechanics work? Well. This community is a drama-free zone. Do not bring any drama with other members, creators, or communities into this server. So, if you're wondering, when Tipster says, it made me a person that when I look back, I'm ashamed of. This post went up at 5.32 p.m. Okay? This tweet was around 4.50, wait, wait, what is this? Uh, uh, was it the day before? I don't know. 
Tipster looked back two hours prior and said, I hate the man I've become, and he changed. He's banned talking about drama from his Discord. He's a new man now. A different man. You just can't tell by looking at his YouTube channel. Oh, oh wait, where is it? Does anyone know where his YouTube channel is? How do you get to Tipster's YouTube channel? I can't find it. <laughs> Bro, it's so over. It's so over. So he fires up his stream today. He's not a drama YouTuber chat. No, he's reformed. You don't understand. He's a reformed former drama YouTuber. Big Tip and the Boys are now... I don't know what else he could possibly do. He's not really intelligent. Is he a true crime channel too that doesn't make any true, true crime videos? It's a true crime that he's still uploading. Tipster is the type of person, I'm calling this now, within the next six months, if Keffels does the channel, he's going to start a true crime channel and he'll be like, yeah, you know, it's way less toxic to be a true crime YouTuber. And then his like big punchline in the video is going to be like, all right, guys. Today we're going to be talking about a, a child who was raped and murdered and assaulted and they never found the body. It's like, yeah, guys, your drama's so toxic. Let's go talk about dead kids. That's what true crime is. That's what all all the all the commentary YouTubers who go to true crime are like, oh my god, it's so toxic. I'd rather talk about dead kids. That's what Keffels is arguing. Dude, I'm looking at these th these thumbnails. Hitler had some good one-liners. <laughs> Holocaust denial? False strikes. But why, though? You know he stopped putting himself in the thumbnails, I think, after people made fun of him. I think he took himself out of the thumbnail. Like, because he used to just put, like, grotesque images of himself in the thumbnail. Like, what is that? What is that? What is that? He dialed back on it, but he, he used to do some fucking... Oh! Oh! Soy tip! Soy tip! Soy tip! Uh, but yeah, he really... I don't know. Has anyone... Dude, it has to be Illuminati. If you look back at any... Like, like Blair. 56k views. Nothing, 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 nothing. 10k views. Jack's film Sniper Wolf. Like, literally only when he covers commentary content. Anything he wants to cover, no one cares. But, like, he activates, like, two of his dead subscribers every single time he Look at- Oh my god. I am so hyped for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I guess your friends are not. Holy shit. I guess your chat is not- They're not impressed. Uh, 19k on, um... Uh, Illum oh, 14k on Illuminati. Oh, uh, 40k. 40k on Illuminati. Wow. They're oh, 33k on Illuminati. Ooh. How plagiarism killed James Somerton's career overnight. I'm sure a lot Ooh. of you guys are already aware of the big, big story. The big bomb. Yeah, I would say that Tipster's big problem isn't his content. It's the fact that he posts, like, gigantic, hardly edited VODs. And in reality, nobody actually watches stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, who here on YouTube just posts largely unedited VOD clips that are, like, an hour to four hours each? I mean, how could you possibly do that and maintain some semblance of viewership on YouTube? That would be, like, retarded, you know? Like, what if you posted, like, I don't know, uncut calls with ads on it or something? And, would I mean, would people really watch that 131,000 times? Uh, I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Um, yeah, so that was... Uh, that was... <laughs> Oh fuck! All right, all right. So let me show you this. He uh, he addresses the elephant in the room. Okay, I need you to see this. It's so good. By the way, the, the shit the girls can't contain her. Listen, then you then you you are disgusting. Oh oh, I need a shower. I tipster's intro just made me dirty in a way that I can't wash off. Oh my god, is that not just disgusting? What the fuck is that? Wait, why is Willie Mac in the intro? Has Willie not like shit on Tipster yet? We have to we have to sign him up. I fucking hate Ooh, ooh! Stop! Stop. 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 Stop.
the mods in chat asking him wait asking people to spam emotes oh my why does he have this image because he's trying to steal my he's trying to steal my whole gimmick i'm that guy he's literally dressed up in my chair bro you're not that guy pal. okay so i think uh my specs are nice and clean now who the fuck calls glasses specs bro who the fuck wait what no. <clears throat> there we go much better <laughs> Dude, all right, legitimate drinking game. You will die if you try to play this. Every time Tipster hits a soundboard, are you guys think I mean with the soundboard and it's annoying? Bro, you gotta watch this guy's thing. It's like every three seconds he hits a sound. I got the dentist tomorrow and trying not to think about it. Oh God, I hate going to the dentist. Yeah, I'm, I'm not shocked about that. I feel like your visits aren't going, don't really go very well. <laughs> so much. Like, I can go to a doctor's visit, and it doesn't really bother me all that much. Uh, but going to the dentist, I I hate the dentist so much. Uh, I what can't is it, even... like a giant baby? Who doesn't like the... Like... Uh, okay. Streams on Twitch for the reason that I'm a little bit... Uh, we're probably going to be doing more streams on Twitch as of late. Uh, I mean, we've already been doing quite a bit of... By the way, if you guys don't know... Because everyone on YouTube hates him now. He ran to Twitch, and now he's using it, the uh, the shadow ban as an excuse so he can go stream to 30 people on a different platform. Streams on Twitch, but uh, we'll probably be doing some more streams on Twitch for the reason that I'm about to uh, share with you guys yeah. uh, in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my girlfriend has the blue light too, and it helps with headaches. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that helps a lot. I know that uh, when I started getting the blue light filters, um, you know, Isn't when I started getting the blue light filters on my glass. Does shit work? It's true. He's streaming right now. We're watching his stream that's right now, but we're back at the beginning of it. I guess technically he could pull the plug on this if he wants to and ruin my night, but... I mean, he's clearly, I, I don't know. I don't think he would do that. Why would he do that to me? <laughs> Uh-oh. That chat. We have some people who are trying to be disruptive, but... Wait, what? I'm watching the VOD. How did he get raided? How did we raid Tipster while we're watching a pre-recorded VOD? Okay. There we go. All right. Sorry about that, chat. We have some people who are trying to be disruptive. Did but... he get organically raided while I'm watching this? Dude, this is this is an hour ago. That's okay. That's okay. We have uh, tools to work around that stuff. And by the way, I'm pretty sure mods have access to those tools as well. So if you ever need to use those tools, uh, feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. Dude, he needs to tell his mods to remove the trolls. Oh, this is so fucking cringe, dude. Oh. Uh, okay, so we got some stuff to get into, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna in, get into it in a second Fuck. here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do that. Here we go. Okay, so what should we talk about first today? God damn it, bro. Uh, I'm getting owned today in pinball. Well, I guess we could talk about. Uh, I'm usually better than this. I have performance anxiety. The uh, elephant in the room. Uh oh, guys, we're addressing it. Uh, hold on a second. What the okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, it's on phone currently. Uh, I'm limited. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's some moderation tools that are available on phone. But uh, if you're having trouble, begging. that's okay. We got quite a few uh, mods in the chat that can uh, help with that stuff. So no boogie. No, no, no biggie. No boogie? Oh, no. Oh, no. You guys don't know about the boogie drama, do you? Well, you, you probably have seen it. We're going to watch that next. Boogie made an exposed video on Tipster. Uh, okay. Here we go. That was a that was a Freudian clip if I've ever seen one. So I guess we'll talk about the elephant in the room to start the stream already. So as some of you guys may know, uh, if you already follow me on Twitter, uh, definitely follow me on Twitter if you don't already uh, at just so tippy. Uh, you yeah, I, I don't think my my audience doesn't have that luxury. Does anyone here? Don't say it, I guess, because you'll get he'll he'll check the vod and, and scrape you. But is anyone here actually following Tipster? He got accounts that I don't think people even knew I used, okay? This guy has hunted me down. He sent Keffels' KGB unit in to find any account that would be around mine. I don't think anyone here can actually follow Tipster on Twitter. You might already be aware of- He, he unfollowed Lord Vega yesterday, okay? It's, it's beyond over. 
of this particular situation, but I had multiple people uh, at me on Twitter basically telling me that they weren't able to find my channel. Apparently, some people even thought that I had deleted uh, my channel, uh, which obviously is not the case. If you click a direct link to my channel. Do you know how I found out that people thought he deleted his channel? Somebody sent me a clip of like a screenshot from Kiwi Farms where someone was saying like, oh, it looks like Tipster got his channel deleted and asked me if I knew anything about it. But then when I searched up his URL, it was there. Was Tipster reading the Kiwi Farms page to see if they were talking about it? <laughs> channel, it's still there. Um, but, uh, people were having trouble accessing my channel on YouTube. And, uh, so basically we have like this person here. Hey, tipster, I think your channel is shadow banned because it's not showing up in search. Even if you filter as channel might want to look into this. Uh, so I decided to check it out. I have like another alt account that I use specifically for searchers. I got blocked cause I was on Keffels block list. Kevils has like a perma block list, Jesus. Salt testing and stuff like that. And so I kind of logged into that account and I did a quick search for my channel. Sure enough, my channel didn't come up. And when I filtered it specifically to channel searches, uh, my channel didn't come up either. Uh, so it does look like there's some kind of suppression. Uh, the suppression is the suppression of your channel, okay? It's, it's like gotten smaller <laughs> organically over the last couple of months going on the thing is here's what i think happened if you want me to speculate i think the algorithm is working as intended the only boon to my theory is that tipster is not showing up at all in channel search that's weird regardless what i think is happening right now is i think youtube is classifying tipster like ikea furniture or uh the new iphone 15 pro max you know, when you type in iPhone 15 Pro Max into into the YouTube search, a YouTube channel called iPhone 15 Pro Max doesn't show up, right? Like, I'm sure that's... Like, there's definitely someone whose YouTube channel name is iPhone 15 Pro Max, right? Um, like, that that doesn't show up. They think Tipster is like an item or, or like a topic or like a, or like a show or something like that because he's... I mean, his own content produces nothing of value. The algorithm probably can't, like, probably differentiates the two, as in, like, the tipster who's really popular, which is people making fun of tipster, and then the actual guy named tipster who gets no views and no one cares about him. Like, if you watch tipster's content, uh, it, it doesn't get very many views, obviously, but if you watch content about tipster, it pulls in the numbers, as they say, the kids are saying the numbers. I mean, we have 2000 people watching right now in an impromptu stream on a Monday night. Okay. Like this is, yeah, the numbers, Mason, what do they mean? So I think tipster himself, like hate content for tipster has become a genre on the platform now. And it's identifying it as such. Whereas uh, tipster, the actual person is now viewed as like an object, like a toaster. Um, so that's my thought. Why not? Now, I have my theories about what's going on here, um, but uh, in any case, uh, if you're noticing that you're having a hard time finding my channel, uh, you're not the only one. This is an issue uh, that's been going on. Uh, the problem, Tipster, is that there's not enough people looking for your channel, or it would still be in the search results. For a while. Now, I did tweet about this. I said I've had several people inform me of this in the past 24 hours. I checked and confirmed that my channel is not showing up in search. I have contacted Team YouTube for assistance. Now, I got to be honest with you guys. When I reached out to Team YouTube, I had my doubts that they were going to be able to do anything. I have Yeah, because to do something would be to change the entire site's algorithm. Like <laughs> they told you it's working as intended. It is working as in The only weird thing I keep repeating is the channel page thing, but the reason why his videos aren't showing up in search are totally organic. I've seen this issue occur for other creators in the past and YouTube does fuck all for it. So even though I was like, you know what, I'll go. And like this happened to Mama Max. You remember that during the Mama Max arc in January, his channel was like, it wasn't gone, but it was like 17 down. Whereas like my video, Mudahar video, everyone who, who made content on him during the news cycle. And Tipster has been like a relevant news story for over a month, right? The Vosh stuff happened in early February. We're still talking about this. Uh, maybe not the Vosh thing, but Tipsters continued to be like a, a total lol cow in that time frame. Go ahead and reach out to Team YouTube, see if they can do anything. I pretty much went into it expecting nothing to get done. And I was pretty much right about that. Uh, so I said... Uh, well, here, buddy. Have you opened a Rumble? 
Oh, God, I love to be that fucking asshole on Twitter. Oh, that's the worst fucking person. Hey, Tipster, I, have you tried, have you considered opening a, um, uh, wh wh what's the other one? Oh, Tipster, why don't you stream on Kick, Tipster? Oh, Tipster, how come you haven't made a Goyam TV account, Tipster? Tipster, when are you going to be streaming on BitChute? Oh, I hear they have streaming now, Tipster. If you're, oh, come on, Trovo, Trovo. Come on, support those platforms. Support those platforms, Tipster. In an update tweet. Odyssey. Oh, you know, Nick, you really should move your content to Odyssey. I use it all the time. It's basically the same as YouTube. I never notice any lack of features on that site. And they're not as intrusive with ads. Yeah, okay, dude. Cool. Yeah, gotcha. Just spoke to Team YouTube and as expected, not much they can do. Rip, and I uh, showed my chat logs uh, with YouTube. I'll just go ahead and I'll go. I want to see your chat logs with everybody else. Dude, I got a crazy tipster DM leak and I'm not going to put it out. Um... I have, like, two of my biggest haters of all time. I have their DMs with each other. How I've gotten access to this, I don't know. Uh, but it is one of the funniest things I've ever had had my pleasure to read, okay? Because I guess Tipster shared them with somebody who shared them with me. But it's like, if I told you who they were between Tipster and somebody else, you'd ask me just, how did you get these? Because neither party would give them to you willingly. Um, but I, dude, I have so many tipster leaks coming Go through them. Uh, Yo, don't worry. There is leaks coming. There's some good shit. We'll skim through them. We won't read everything. Basically. I've been holding out for a while, but pretty much I contacted them and I told them, Hey, you know, people in my audience have informed me that, uh, you know, my channel's not showing up in search as of yesterday. Uh, I tested it with an alt account, confirm that, uh, even when you filter specifically for channel specific search, uh, you know, they're not able to find me. They asked me to attach some screenshots of my searchers. I texted Smaggle. I go, Hey Smaggle, I have these DMS and he went, what? And I just didn't answer him for like six hours. And then he goes, is there anything in them? And I go, yes. And then I didn't respond to him for an entire day. <laughs> results and they said they would look into it <laughs> and uh, uh sure enough they basically uh shared some details with me that was the typical copy and paste nonsense it's just like hey this is how our search works uh this is how you can you know uh improve your results in the algorithm stuff like that and i pretty much like responded with uh, but this doesn't make sense why would my channel show up in search one day but not show up in search the next day uh and they pretty much responded with i truly uh, appreciate your persistence. Uh, we've uh, carefully examined your case and offered the best po possible solution. And uh, it was just more copy and paste nonsense. So essentially, YouTube said they can't do anything about it, which I'll be honest, um, I, I went into it expecting that. Because as I mentioned before, I've seen this sort of thing. This is so soy, bro. He's coping so hard. Dude, he's coping and seething. Happened to other content creators in the past, and uh, YouTube really doesn't do a whole lot about it. And so it By just. By the way, he's ruined that song for me. He'll sit there on the most mundane, mundane, mundane thing, and he'll play like, You are coping, coping and seething. You can't believe what you're seeing. Like that fucking really annoying song. Yeah. Just kind of is what it is. So the main reason I wanted to do this as a segment is just to kind of keep you guys posted on, you know, how you can keep up with my content. I'm going to continue posting segments from my streams onto my YouTube channel. So if you chat, if you're one of the 1000 lucky concurrent fucking tipster, if you, no, sorry, not concurrent. My, oh God, I fucked that one up. If you're one of the 1000 weekly tipster viewers who, who browse his videos, he uploads on his channel. Don't worry. You're going to be getting your daddy's coming. Dude. Daddy's bringing content. Home. You happen to be subscribed. Honestly, he's gotten more. Actually, has he got more views than Augie has this month? Let me go check. Uh, well, Social Blade isn't really the best, but um, now he has to have. I mean, Augie might have made more money than him this month, but so Tipster in the month of um, let me see. How do you know? How can you get your monthly video views for Tipster? Detailed statistics. <clears throat> um, weekly video views for Tipster. Oh, you can't check it because he deleted content. Weekly video views for Tipster. Total video views for Tipster. So we only have till February. I like how if you look it up, it's Tipster's full... Wait, what?
Is his channel URL his full fucking name? That's retarded. Okay. Why did Social Blade just dox him to me? <laughs> what the fuck? His URL is? I didn't know that. I was like, wait, whoa, Jesus. Um, yeah, I can't. I, I guess I could add it up. Um, no, I'm, I'm too fucking lazy. It's, what is that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is 36. Uh, let's just call that an even 41, 45, uh, 50. All right, let's say 55. That's rounding upward. Okay, let's see what Augie got this month. <laughs> Is Augie cooked, chat? Has he gotten more than uh, 45, 000, uh, 55,000 views this month? Bro, Tipster's beating Augie. Augie pulled half of Tipster's viewership this month. No. It's so over. Oh, that's so bad, chat. Augie pulled in 26,000 views this month. <laughs> CJ, uh, two days ago, X Augie. Did you quit? <laughs> Dude, L Augie. That's insane. Oh, God. Chat, sh on April 1st, should I stream as Augie? Should I use his account and stream? Should I take his stream key? To my YouTube channel. My understanding is people who are subs to my channel, they're still getting, you know, my content and their notifications and their sub boxes. So you should be fine if you're a subscriber. So you're I'm going to continue bleeding, posting content there. If you're one of the bleeding uh, but if you subs of Chipster, you can still get his views. Sure, that you can get access to the content that you guys are subscribed for. Uh, I'd say the best way to do that is to uh, join my Discord, uh, Discord server. Guys, get in my Discord server. And then I'll give you the role and you could be one of the goth mommies and we can talk about my my problems at three o'clock in the morning on Discord and I can totally not flirt with you. And then if you ever call me on it, I'll tell you I wasn't flirting, but it's pretty clear that I was flirting because I'm weird. I'm like a horny 80 year old man, in a 30 year old guy's body. <laughs> Um, the links are in the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And then obviously if you're watching on Twitch, there's ways you can act creeper. Oh man. <laughs> access uh, that link uh, through here as well. Uh, so uh, there, that's the best way to keep up with my stuff. I have my server set up to notify people in the Discord server, you know, whenever something new goes out. So if you want to keep up to date with the content, uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Even if you're not a big Discord user, at the very least, you can use it as a way to get notified uh, of new content that's coming out. And then also when it comes to the streams, um, Thank you. This guy's got a lollycon reading him his donations. What the fuck, bro? Join the Kuma Nation. Thank you very much for that sub. I do appreciate it. But uh, if you want to keep up to date with my streams, uh, your best place to do that uh, would be here uh, on Twitch. Be sure to give me a follow on Twitch, and uh, I will be sure to, uh, you know, you'll get the note. Wait, that's rum? That was rum? Oh, that was a joke, chat. That was a joke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Notifications here for that. Uh, but in any case, uh, thank you again uh, so much uh, for all the support and everything. It is definitely uh, appreciated. Um, but yeah, I think that's the best way that you can keep up to date on all of my content moving forward, uh, considering everything that's going on. So, uh, but uh, it is what it is. These are the down. Does anyone have the clip? It was Rum was the e-girl who, who like made her kid call Augie's fan the N-word, right? Like she had like her N-word moment where she like yelled at a fucking food employee or something on stream. And then she was fighting with like spawn dial, like community retard spawn dial, right? And then she like begged, like she like begged her son, like I'll, I'll get you food or something if you say the hard R, the spawn dial. Is that the, is that, no, that's AP over 9K. Okay, so Rum just had the lolly controversy, and then Tipster's other friend, AP over 9K, was the N-word bandit. Is that true? So that's the... So Rum had the lolly controversy, the lo lolly-versy, 
Um, and then AP over 9K made her kid say the N-word to own someone on Discord. Thank you, Smaggle, for saying, Nick, that isn't right. We got it now, chat. We figured it out. We got to the lore. Do you understand the lore? Insides of being a content creator uh, that nobody really tells you about. It sucks, but it just kind of is what it is. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to work around it, and uh, everything's going to be fine for the most part. But uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you all here. And uh, thank you for the continued support on my content. It is appreciated. Bro, thank you, thank so you. Over. Um, anyway. Dude, anyway. in like six months, he's going to be awkwardly streaming with like, like, he's going to be a moderator of an OnlyFans girls chat. That's where Tipster's future is going to go. He's going to like find some woman or whatever who like fucking twerks and shit on camera and he's going to be her moderator. That's where his future lies. Um, uh, Okay. So, yeah, that's kind of like what's going on with that. It's a bummer, but it's really not that big of a deal. I've been doing more of my streams over here on Twitch anyway. So it's just one of those things that it is what it is. Tipster's the only guy moving to Twitch in 2024. Like even the platform's largest content creators have abandoned the site. It is like dying. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're laying off. What do they lay off? Like fucking 50% of the staff within the last two layoff runs. It's so Jover. Can you load the full VOD uh, from Twitch onto YouTube for archiving? If I remember, it saves Twitch streams uh, for three days. Um, I forget how long Twitch VODs get saved, um, but uh, maybe I'll create like an alternate channel specifically for that purpose. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not really sure. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Dude, you know what's funny? If he does that, that channel will show up in search. So you'll just find tipsters like garbage slop six hour boring vods but you won't find the content he wants you to see hey uh, chris thank you for the raid uh, but yeah that's not a bad idea i guess i guess it's more than just the tip oh my god true okay well i got a, a few other topics that i want to talk about with you Wait, guys that was, so we're a gonna topic? Get into those. that was a main topic for him and then uh we'll play some games afterwards because i want to like i said i want to play some uh ocarina of time if I recall, Twitch VODs are up for at least... Yeah, it's something like that. It's like two months or something like that. Something along those oh lines. I don't remember God, specifically, bro. but yeah, something like that. Dude, it's so over. Dude. <laughs> Enemies of the state content is so fucking bad these days, chat. I'm not even going to talk about what I saw last night. It was bad. All right, listen. You got to get Nick coin. Get on Nick coin right now. All of the people who don't like Nick, um, they are, oh boy, they're having a bad month. <laughs> Listen, dude, all, all of Nick's friends are up. All right. And everyone who doesn't like Nick is like down. So you got to get on Nick coin because this is so crazy how bad people are getting killed here. Holy shit, dude. It's so over. All right. I got to watch this. This is out of pocket. Are you familiar with this controversy, the Boogie2988 versus Tipster feud? Boogie put out a tweet about, um, I want to play a little Fortnite. Boogie put out a tweet that was really over the top. It was like, fucking video games are, should be fun and not like a, a people lecturing you about being white. And then when Boogie was pushed on that tweet, he had literally no example. Now, Twitter is split half and half. Some people are saying he's a grifter. He's always been a grifter. He's literally never had an actual fucking opinion on anything, at least not in the last five years. And all he does is tweet things to go viral because that's the only way he stays successful. And then wrong people are saying like, no, Nick, I really think he cares about this. Uh, this time, uh, uh, this is pretty on point with other things he said. Um, I think that... Uh, uh, even though Tipster's position is, is basically indefensible, I can drag the goalposts 3,000 feet to the right and then make legitimate arguments about real issues. In the yeah, I get it, okay? We all hate Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, we all think it's cringe as fuck. We all think gaming is, is releasing unfinished products and people are more st spending more time coding the death, uh, the death black girl uh, spray painting scene in Miles Morales and they're doing the third act of the game. I get it, okay? I get it. There's a problem with gaming. I understand. 
but I don't think Boogie2988 is your savior. I don't think that's the guy to latch on to. Uh, I think there's plenty of other people who are making better arguments that you could go after. Not uh, not Boogie2988. It's like, uh, uh, why would I need an example? <laughs> Question. <laughs> uh, well, hold on. Let me check DMs. Chris the, Chris the, Chris the Narc wants me to see something. Um, what is this? What is this, Chris? What are you writing me? What is that? Is this like a new group chat leak? What is this, Chris? Tipster's old group chat? Meg and Tip thirsts over the big titty goth chat? Can I just watch and get cucked then? What? Wait, wait, what is this? What is this? Can you give me, like, lore? You're just giving me all the goods, but you're not telling me why it's here. Hold on. Yeah, there's really not much to show, I'll be honest. It's just, like, it's, what is this? What, what is this message? He wrote this? What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that, private pile? What the fuck is that? What is he doing, bro? What is that? Chris, why did you send me this? What am I supposed to do with that, dude? Apparently, Tipster used to be in a group chat. Uh, Hannah Animal leaked this. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, Tipster used to hang out in this group chat for a while. Um, the Meg and Tip thirst over big titty goth chat. Um, I don't know. This is what apparently just got dropped. Uh, on on everyone's head. Uh, ye, ooh, ye. So Boogie two nine eight eight had the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever. Internet was coming after him. Okay, people were not happy with his video, uh, and his, his tweet rather, um, and they were not happy with his position. Some people were calling him a Nazi. Others were calling him a racist. Others were calling him a transphobe. All these people were saying that. Boogie's a grifter, that he's a political hack, that he's an attention seeker and his channel is dead. And he was getting like thousands and thousands and thousands of hate mail threats or whatever and people were shitting all over him. And then Boogie had the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever. After all of this Gamergate stuff started popping off, I decided to have a little fun on Twitter with uh, this tweet here. And a lot of people have asked me, do I stand by this tweet? And the answer is yes. Video games should be fun. They shouldn't be political lectures of pretty much any type. And whereas almost any sane person should agree with this tweet, a lot of people got hung up with the last couple of words. And most of the replies were just a good time, except replies from one person, and that is Tipster. No fucking way. So instead of responding to all of the hate and criticism, and Boogie doing the lol cow thing where he like interacts with every single person who shit on him. He exclusively responded just to Tipster in a response video. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This is real. He literally ignored 90% of Twitter and exclusively responded and addressed Tipster. And then I'm except replies from one person and that is Tipster. And that sucks because I normally abide by the fat guy code where fat guys tend to leave other fat guys alone if we can. But Tipster drew first blood and I'm going Rambo on his ass. They drew. What the fuck, dude? First blood, not me. Why? Tipster saw my video talking about Sweet BB Incorporated and decided to post some clips from it, basically saying that I was now on the alt right grift and I, I wonder why someone like tipster would think that of me well it's classic projection and if you watch this video by turkey tom uh, no 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 he's shouting out turkey tom uh, which i'm going to highlight chunks of here but I'll also link it down below you get an idea of the type of person that tipster is specifically tipster is someone who tried to be a video game youtuber and failed at that then joined the commentary community and got kicked out of that community so now instead he grifts how does he know so much <laughs> what is happening the rainbow coalition and is also failing to do that. Now, the reason I'm making this video is to talk about this live stream where Tipster had to go live last night for 45 minutes to talk about what an anti-woke uh, grifter he thinks I've become. 
Spoiler alert, I'm no grifter. I just think sometimes it's right to call out bad people for doing bad things. And if I'm in the company of people like Asmon Gold... Yeah, dude, Keem Ghost wrote this. There's no way. While I'm doing it, I feel pretty comfortable doing it. So I just wanted to highlight some of the things that uh, Tipster had to say in this live stream and give my opinion. So he's saying like Alan Wake 2, God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2. He's Dude, saying Boogie, and I swear to God, I pre-watched I, I pre this. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, Shad. I've seen some of this. But he spends like three minutes talking about Boogie and then the rest of, uh, not Boogie, three minutes talking about like uh, Tipster's response. And then he just goes in and just pile drives him for the remainder of the video. These games were too big to fail. But then he's talking about how like Suicide Squad was a stinker, which I actually, it, I hear it is a pretty bad game. I don't know, Tipster. What do you think Spider-Man 2, Alan Wake 2, and God of War 2 have in common? It's the number two. Those video games are sequels to very well-loved games that had very little politics in them and a shitload of fun. The industry knows that's a really good time to shove politics down your throats because you're gonna buy it anyway, so it's a good time to get you to sit down and listen to a lecture. Who's this is literally just about being treated poorly by Anita Sarke Sarkeesian. <laughs> Anita Sarke! Anita Sarke! Anita Sarkeesian! At, at VidCon. Panelists. So he was speaking out against like gamer gators at the time, right? And now he's decided he wants to join them. I don't know. I always felt I beat Anita Sarkeesian there because I got invited back to VidCon the next year and uh, she didn't. Oh my God. That was cold. If you understand the reference. Because objectively, Tipster got body. Not Tipster. Oh God. Boogie got fucking bodied at VidCon, right? Like, he, he literally just sat there and got screamed at by Anita or whatever. But that is fucking true. He did get invited the next year. Now, I don't know about the year after that, right? Let's be clear. We don't know about the year after. But he did get invited back, and she didn't because she's irrelevant. But if you want to see the real hammer come down, I I've never seen Boogie, like, kill someone this hard. Anita Sarkeesian there because I got invited back to VidCon the next year and uh, she didn't. Also, I'm dating my dream girl and Anita just celebrated her birthday party by having a fake wedding. Bro. Oh my god. No. Dude, that is... Imagine Boogie saying that to you. I'm sure that, like, there was a lot of that. Oh my god. So, I... I feel like I'm winning. And no, that panel wasn't about Gamergate. It was about online harassment, which God can damn. come from people on the right or the left or even the middle. And if Gamergate 2.0 comes out to being some sort of harassment campaign, I will distance myself from the harassment, but I'll still say the video games are supposed to be fun. Liking fun video games and thinking they shouldn't be taken over by identity politics isn't harassment. You have to be an extra kind of stupid to think that I'm aligning myself with terrorists just because I'm sharing that opinion. Hey guys, it's me, Francis. And you know, last time... Dude, even Tipster is stealing my voice gimmick. I do the voices. That's my thing, Tipster. You're in my chair. You, you hired one of my artists. You're doing the voice thing. What, are you going to start listening to music while you read clips too? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you're, I, I, I'm flattered, Tipster. You're looking at what a what a successful streamer does on his shows, but Jesus. This Gamergate thing happened all the. Is he doing Francis or Garbage Goober right now? What's going on? Those years ago, I'm gonna side with all the racists and the Nazis. As my chat would say, he's doing a really bad impression of a Long Island Jewish woman. <laughs> and stuff like that, because they seem to think I'm a really cool guy. I don't even know where to start with that, other than the fact that he genuinely thought he was doing something there. And it's really great that he he's that stupid. It is nice to see him just admitting that he thinks that if you like fun video games and you don't want to be pandered to in those games, uh, that you are a racist and a Nazi. And it's just, it's awesome to see him own that. Anybody who knows me in my Bro, audience- he's getting destroyed. Like, it's actually so bad. Knows that I do not overuse terms like, you know, racists and Nazis. Racists and the Nazis. And by now, you all know, these are just- So I put a tweet out today about Stone Toss Comic, okay? Stone Toss Comic obviously has made like edgy racist cartoons in the past or whatever, but he's being fucking doxxed right now. And people are defending the fact that he's being doxxed because 
I guess like his name is public information. The only reason his name is public information is because they doxed him and it became a, like a national news headline. So then all the journalists put his fucking name like in the articles. So now it's public because you can cite the articles of about the people doxing him. Okay, it's ridiculous. I just pointed out that he's done some racist cartoons in the past, which I don't think really matters in the grand scheme of, you know, being fucking doxed. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily a reason to go and do something like that. I mean, I've made plenty of racist jokes on stream. I would prefer uh, not having journalists fucking reporting on my fucking full legal name as some big expose or something. And somebody wrote back to me and they're like, Nick, Nick, you don't understand. It's not just racist comics. He's a fascist. And then they sent me a link and I'm looking through it and it's like, these look like racist comics. And he goes, no, Nick. It's more than that. It's a fascist comic. And I'm like, what? Did he make an animation? Did the comic start moving? Like, what are you talking about? Like, what? And he goes, clearly you're a transphobic bigot and a fucking racist homophobe as well uh, because you're not identifying the real problem here and you're just pretending it's a racist cartoon. And I'm like, I'm sorry I didn't call it like a, an, what, like a, like a, a mega racist cartoon like racism to the sequel i'm just like yeah this is well, you know it's like a racist cartoon like i like what am i supposed to say i'm like conceding that it's a racist cartoon from the original tweet or whatever and the guy had like a fucking schizophrenic meltdown because i need to use their no you don't understand it's a racist racist fascist cartoon <laughs> i don't know bro buzzwords they use when they don't have a valid argument against the fact that video games should be fun. These people just do not understand that video games for us is a form of escapism to escape real world politics and we're not here to pay $70 to be lectured to. Uh, you know, when I was showing my quote tweet, right? That's because Boogie couldn't handle my criticism. Dude! No, bro, I don't want, we don't want to hear that from you, man. We don't want to hear that from you. Come on, man. He couldn't handle the fact that I'm right. No, no, bro. There's no fucking way he couldn't handle the fact that I'm right. Look at this guy's stupid grin as he says that. Handle my criticism. He couldn't handle the fact that I'm right. Tipster, I block everybody on Twitter almost for no reason. People seem to like it when I do. Everybody blocks people. Tipster blocks everybody. Boogie blocks people. I block people. Like, none of us are like fucking, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, dude, why? Why? <laughs> It, they wear it as like a badge of honor. Oh, look, Boogie blocked me. And also, I don't have to deal with their bullshit. But Tipster, that's not why I blocked you. I blocked you because you were a disgusting, depraved human being. Um, do we have the soundboard, Tipster? Can you hit the button? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It was just last month that you were defending drawn photos of child pornography. And <laughs> All right, that is the least charitable way to explain what happened last month. I will say, I will say. Oh, my God, bro. It was just last month that you were defending drawn photos of child pornography and that just irks me in the worst way humanly possible your only online friend left is keffels and she threw you under the bus no she did she didn't he cocked oh no because you were defending child pornography i may not be mr rogers but at least i don't have a history of both harassing online e-girls as well as online trans women you oh my all right all right Foggy, I feel like you're writing checks you can't cash here again. I don't know if you got the clips for that one. Call me a grifter because I broke my silence on this whole video game topic. Oh my, dude, he's slaughtering him though. Holy shit. You're the one who left the commentary community to go fleece the LGBTQ. You wanna <laughs> oh my god. Dude, imagine leaving the edgy space that's supposedly like, um, like supposedly not a monetarily safe place to be to like, you know, start sucking LGBTQ dick. 
and then all of a sudden there's like a renaissance of edgy content and you've joined the worst possible lgbt community or whatever full of people who are like widely fucking hated like imagine falling like imagine jumping downward so fucking hard and just slamming your face for no fucking reason like maybe he was i was arguing i don't know if he's grifting because he hasn't really had much to gain from it but maybe he's just retarded he grifted the wrong way and thought he was going to succeed because he did and then he ended up walking into a trap oh lord me i mean to be honest tipster's probably walking into multiple traps when his wife falls asleep at night yeah, about aligning myself with the right well you know what that's not something i plan to do i just want to align myself with people who like video games and there's plenty of people on the left that do that but you're choosing to ally yourself with the left and only the left excluding anybody that happens to be in the middle or the right and that's a really bad plan for you the reason you're failing at everything you're trying to do right now is because you're trying to appeal to the left but you're such a vile disgusting person that even they don't want to have anything to do with you Regurgitating the left's talking points can only get you so far, and when somebody on the left finds out that you harass women or defend child porn, they don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm not here to talk about the left or the right or anything in the middle, I'm just talking about video games and people being informed whether or not a certain company worked on it so they can choose whether or not to spend their hard-earned money on that. And why is that difficult for you to understand? Because tipster, it's exactly people like you that I'm trying to avoid when it comes to video games. People who preach tolerance in one hand and attack everyone they can on the other. People defending child pornography. People harassing women. You are the exact kind of person I play video games to get the hell away from. <laughs> I love that so much, chat. I love that so much. <laughs> Dude, the ultimate ear rape. <laughs> the ultimate ear rape, chat. <laughs> Not loud enough. We have to go louder. Dude, it was all the way red. It never went down from red. It was peaking the entire time. I was here. I can't believe you made that after my joke. That's the only reason I'm streaming right now is the intro is so fucking funny, dude. I can't get over it. Dude, I sent it to Chud Logic and this motherfucker's awake at like no man's hours in fucking the UK and he's like, Nicholas, this is fucking crazy, mate. This is fucking mad. What, what the fuck are you doing, Nicholas? <laughs> All right, do you feel uncomfortable with how loud that was? Now you know what it feels like to be in Tipster's DMs at 3 o'clock in the morning when he's having a fit of depression. Okay, <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. <sighs> Politics in my video games, and that should be okay, I think. I'm not trying to appeal to the right or Nazis or any of that shit. I'm just speaking what I believe to be true. The video game should be fun. And I, I think it's so sad and sick that you can't see that. I don't have problems with anybody on the left or the right as long as they're not extremists. And if you're an extremist, you can go fuck yourself. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to appeal to anybody other than the fact that some people like video games and some people want them to remain fun and some people don't want motherfuckers Can you believe this fucking guy? Like, and Tipster won't even go on lolcow. If Tipster went on lolcow, there are arguments he could make to argue with Boogie here. And Boogie, he could show everyone that Boogie has no idea what he's talking about. But he won't go on the podcast because he's a total bitch-ass pussy. And he won't do it. Like, I'm honestly, bro, give me one good reason why he shouldn't go on and fight Boogie here. He could win this argument. Boogie definitely has no idea what he's talking about. I'm not even trying to gas him up. It's so soy because you know you know how like amazing content it would be if Boogie. Call I mean, I'm sure Tommy wouldn't be too aggressive. Wings doesn't know who he is. Keemstar's not in the call. Why can't you go talk to Boogie? Like I don't get it. It's just super cowardly, bro. I think it would be super entertaining. I think the chat would really like it. Honestly, maybe Tipster would gain a few fans. Something he desperately needs right now, you know. Um, it really doesn't make sense why he would dodge lol cow. I say dodge lol cow. He hasn't officially declined. I don't even know if he's been offered, but he's not going to go on. Um, 
it would be funny as fuck. Tipster on Lolcow, I can see it. Well, I feel like he'll be a permanent host in season three, but at least in the meantime, it would make sense for him to go on and debate Boogie. Uh, Boogie versus Tipster for Creator Clash 3. He can be an undercard. I'm going to shoot this guy. What is his thing? Oh, I just killed a minion. Oh, dude, I love that movie. Oh, fuck. Skirt, skirt. I'm, th I'm Zeus, motherfucker. Skirt, skirt. Bang. You're, you're... Oh, dude. Tipster news has been beautiful. I've been having a lot of fun on this story. Fucking with that. And if you're an extremist, go fuck yourself. And if you're... Tipster cried about restreams after? Chat! Chat! Does anyone have a stamp? Give me a stamp. I want to know... What is he talking about? No one's restreaming him. But, anyway as efforts to change a person's sexual orientation oh, or God. gender identity chat we got some banger content here this is the news this is this is post-drama tipster this is all he covers now so this is a tweet from them back in november of 2020 in response to lambda league uh who's your favorite lol cow of the year tipster oh yeah 100 percent tipster um let me see chris is restreaming him yeah Hey, Lois, remember the time I was Zeus in Fortnite? I'm into the actual article here. I have redacted uh, the name of uh, Finster in the article. Wait, did that? Okay, cool. The redactions did work. Just had to make sure. But uh, obviously, it, it's out there. But uh, I'm not going to further share their docs. So. Wait a minute. Has Tipster given a position yet on Stone Toss Comic? Is this not Keffels' entire justification for streaming with Stone Toss's name in the title? Wait, I'm so fucking confused. I thought all of his friends were saying that you could stream with Stone Toss's name because they put it in articles. Wait. In the article? Wait, did the Okay, cool. The redactions did work. Just had to make sure. But uh, obviously, it, it's out there. But uh, I'm not going to further share their docs. So uh, I've chosen to redact it in the article here. But this is an article by the Times. Puberty Blocker Clinic accepted. That's so crazy. I wonder. I wonder if it's a political thing or if he holds the same opinion. Uh, 20,000. This is pounds, right? Pounds? Correct me if I'm wrong. 20,000 uh, pounds. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's dive into this. And yeah, people are telling me it is indeed pounds. Cool. A private. I'm, see, I'm not that guy. I can't make that joke. But I know you're thinking it. But I'm not that guy, so I can't make that joke. Clinic that has vowed to defy an NHS directive banning the prescription of puberty blockers to children accepted a twenty thousand pound donation from a sugar. See, I'm still not that guy. I, I can't make that joke. Okay. Sugar daddy who paid a male YouTuber thousands of pounds to behave like a submissive girl. Now we obviously know that they're they're talking about Finster here, and wh what's insane to me is that like. What's the relevance of like Finster or like this donator or any of it? Like, what's the relevance to this? It just kind of seems like it's a hit piece targeted at Finster while also aiming at this uh, particular organization. Gender GP, which is run by Dr. Gender GPU. What the fuck am I watching right now? Helen uh, Weberly, a GP from uh, South Wales, has provided children as young as nine with drugs that suppress puberty hormones following online consultations. Now, this is something that, uh, you know, wait, is this something that tipster supports. Like, wait, what the fuck is this? For some people is viewed as like controversial, right? Wait, Giving for some people is viewed as controversial. Puberty blockers uh, to like children. Uh, I personally was this not something he was against like last year, like last calendar year. I don't have an issue with it as long as wait, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what did we just click on? For some people, is viewed as like controversial, right? Giving puberty blockers uh, to like children. Uh, I personally, I don't have an issue with it as long as everything's supervised, you know, by an adult and by, by an adult. You mean by a doctor? I, like, I'm not going to give it to you, but like by an adult or by a doctor, some kind of medical care provider. Okay. Uh, or some, okay. I pause champed it. Wait, or, or, and puberty hormones following online consultations. 
Now, this is something that, uh, you know, for some people is viewed as like controversial, right? Giving puberty blockers uh, to like children. Uh, I personally, I don't have an issue with it. As long as everything's supervised, you know, by an adult and by some kind and, of... And, okay, and he caught himself. Of medical. Because I was wondering what he thinks about like Bob posting and Keffel's bragging about giving HRT to minors. Uh, without their parents' knowledge. I, I kind of want to know Tipster's take on that one. Full care provider. Uh, I don't personally mind this whatsoever. Um, but uh, some people obviously take issue with that. You sure? You said the exact same thing before. No, if you go on any conversation I've ever had about this, I argued it and ultimately said, no, I can't support that. That's way, that's over the line. I literally said it every single time we talked about it. We had the argument saying that, like, yeah, in, in a perfect world where we could understand 100% that this person is a trans child or something like that, and they're growing up to be a trans person or whatever, uh, that it would make more sense because if they don't go through puberty, it would be easier to pass. The rest of their life would be far easier. The, the reality is, though, we don't live in a perfect world. That doesn't exist. And the, the fucking, like, potential danger of stopping a kid from going through fucking puberty uh when they don't like necessarily know what's even going on in their own fucking bodies when they don't have the body autonomy to make that decision is crazy i'm sorry I, like like if that's your jump off point for my channel that's perfectly fine but no i think that puberty blockers for kids is fucking crazy and i'm not gonna sit here and listen to fucking um political youtuber one through three go through their discord talking points about how puberty blockers has no effect on children in a source that's cited from an extended study of like three days or whatever this shit's super fucking new at least the way that it's being used for and i'm tired of like random twitch poll people citing absolutely nothing saying like there's no side effects there's no side effects of giving kids puberty blockers that and they use that as a common talking point to speak not just against you know health care for trans kids but also health care for trans people in general it's a common talking point that's used to try and take away trans people's rights and so this article seems to be playing into that uh, Weberly said uh, that her company would not be following the NHS guidelines uh, issued last Tuesday banning the prescription of puberty blockers after medical leaders concluded that there is not enough evidence to support the safety or clinical effectiveness of the drugs. My understanding is this not this is not entirely accurate. This wasn't like an outpouring of a bunch of medical professionals saying that like, hey, we don't think that there's enough data. To Who needs developed bones anyway? Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that along the lines of like, Oh, okay, we tried it. We're not really into it. Uh, I don't think this is the right decision. Oh, okay, let's take you off those puberty blockers. All right, you can go through puberty at uh, 17. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't have a huge fucking uh, destructive force on your life. Uh, I don't know. Support that. I'm sure that your, your childhood it was not like destroyed by realizing or whatever at 17 that you don't want to go fully through with it. You know, puberty blockers are safe. This was a political move. This was a political move that was clearly aimed at taking the rights away from trans people. That's all this is. A loophole in the guidelines means puberty blockers can still be issued by private providers. So wait a minute. They're not really, they're not really defying any guidelines or not following guidelines by the NHS. Then if there are, you know, a pathway that allows independent providers or private providers to provide this stuff they're not really violating god this is so weird I, you know i like tipster better when he was scared of saying stuff like this organization 10 muses match the donation and losers of the video How game come industry there's no now that on the surface sounds I'm not making a joke. I'll get in trouble. It's like a good idea because I do think that like, you know, there's been long jokes, uh, you know, when it comes to the video game awards, the annual video game awards that it's like, Rick, where does he cope to vote on games that should be PlayStation? This is just him playing a game. Um, we covered that. We covered this. Dude, tipster. Boogie2988 is becoming a quartering ripoff, and it wasn't on my... T Wait, Queeman, don't raid me. I'm on my way out. But thank you. Thank you, Queeman. Dude, everyone just shows up when I fucking stream, and they just give me all their viewers. They're, like, paying... They're paying, um... What is it? They're paying reparations. Like, here, Nick, you can have my viewers. I'm paying the tax. I'm paying the Nick tax. <laughs> 
can't leave now. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I want to talk about tonight? Uh, okay, bro. <laughs> Yo, you're paying protection money. I get it. I understand. You gotta pay for protection every so often. You gotta... Oh, God. Oh, I, you can tell that I actually sit in the chair and that Tipster is a poser. Um, you know, what's the tax? 30% in New York, bro. And it is not fun during tax season. What were you saying that no one watches uncut two hour video? Oh, I was joking. Everyone watches them on my channel. My, my uncut two hour VODs do great. That was, I was taking a shot at Tipster because his don't do well. Like who the fuck could pull that off? Oh wait, me. I pull that off every single time. Um, <laughs> dude, my bad video gets 10 times his fucking viewership. Uh, which is not really much to say. Um, but yeah, because you actually talk. Oh, what do you mean? You don't like streams that just sit there being like, Hey guys, today we're going to cover the... Oh shit! Oh, Alright buddy, alright buddy, alright buddy. Black boy. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> dude, that's, that's like an average tipster stream, dude. Like, it's literally just like an average, like... Uh, did you hear any of the lore? Hey, yeah! Who's there? Joe Dasson! You know me, boys! You are fucked! Happening, there were jo wait, 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 wait. I mean, when the lolly shit was happening, there were jokes made that insinuated I was a pedophile, and, like, people from the audience came away from that thinking that I was a pedophile. That is who, like, your fault! Lolly. That was your fault! That literally is you! You're the reason why! You're the master of your own destiny! If you don't want people to think that you're a lolly-loving freak, then stop defending lolly! Con. Well... When Keffels just called me and a transphobe this is, morning, this is what I try to explain to Augie. This is what I try to explain to Augie. Sometimes when you guys joke about stuff, the dipshits in the audience don't get that. Dude, it's this is why I hate him. Okay, this is exactly why I hate him. I hate watching these clips because they make me so fucking angry. He's like, dude, the reason why everyone in the community thinks that I'm a fucking schizophrenic, lolly loving pedophile is because you guys make jokes about it. Not the fact that Tipster goes around and defends fucking lolly every single time there's a controversy. That can't possibly compute. We can't possibly blame Tipster for doing that very obvious thing that would directly contribute to the issue that he's per currently having. No, it needs to be that Nick and Augie did a live stream where they made a joke about it. Therefore, that's the fucking reason. Like, you're joking, right? Like, there's no way you're arguing this. Holy shit. Was shit. Happening. There were jokes made that insinuated I was a pedophile, and, like, people from the audience came away from that thinking that I was a pedophile. Who, he like, can't take accountability for anything that he's ever done. It is so gay and soy. Lollycon. Well... When Keffels just called me and a transphobe this is, morning, this is what I try to explain to Augie. This is what I try to explain to Augie. Sometimes when you guys joke about stuff, the dipshits in the audience don't get that it's a joke. And so, like, with that situation, they made a bunch of jokes about me defending Lollycon and shit like that. And so the audience came away from that thinking I was a Lollycon and a pedophile. Okay. But you could see why that you could see why that situation, like I'm a, okay, I'm just going to be real, because when I had the conversation with Augie, I was trying to keep things cordial. I was trying to go my own way, but also keep things like we weren't leaving on bad terms. But I'm just going to be real. That's why the, the whole leaving the commentary community thing, that was the bridge burner for me. Because I'm like, okay, maybe you guys were joking, but the audience came away from that thinking I was a fucking pedophile. Okay, like that is so insane. And I, I mean, I've showed the screenshots before. When this happened, he was telling me privately, directly, that I was not the problem in that situation. But he went on stream and said this. That's so funny. That was the- What a weaselly little fucker, dude. This guy is such a snake, bro. Bridge burner for me. That's why I decided I'm done. So now you guys don't have to question it anymore. Now you just know. Yeah, well, if anyone calls you a pedo, I'll go out of my way to say, hey, Tip's not a pedo. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, nah, you defended it too many times. I'm not dying on Tipster Hill. <laughs> I'm not that good of a not friend. Chill. But, um, so I haven't seen that. But, like, um, you, you... Jesus. Bo Blags changed his mind. Based Bo Blags. You mean after the 15th time of him accidentally defending Lollycon? We can't possibly, like, I, I don't know. Uh, whatever, dude. 
We have to we have to have a, a real policy about that. Oh my god, these fucking wings are the worst feature in this game. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I have to reload. Fuck. Everything. I have to reload everything. No, I'm so dead. Bro, that was for the win! No!